Welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a strengthening hair mask. So this mask is really good if your hair just needs a lot of TLC and just needs some strengthening and is particularly good if you're preparing to put in a protective style because it can help you to strengthen your hair and prevent breakage and it's also good to use after you take out your protective style. So if your hair is shedding excessively, it's just really weak and it's lacking protein, then this mask is going to be great. Our first ingredient is going to be fenugreek, which is also known as methi. So I'm using powder here, but if you wanted to use um, fenugreek seeds instead, you can do so. Fenugreek has lots of benefits for the hair, and I spoke about this when I did a feature um, video on fenugreek. I'll link that video on the screen and in, in the description below so you can um, learn more about fenugreek if you're not already aware. But here are some of the benefits. So it um, creates this wonderful mucilage which can replenish the hair and then this provides a lot of slip and smoothness and therefore it will help to make uh, detangling a lot easier. It improves or stimulates hair growth and because it is rich in protein and iron it can help to strengthen the hair and um, it also treats things like dandruff um, and it soothes and irritated scalp so it's got lots of benefits. The next ingredient is going to be oatmeal. Again I've spoken about the benefits of oatmeal in previous videos but here are some of them so it can help to prevent hair fall, improves growth and shine. It's a really good conditioner. It prevents um, split ends and it's also really good at soothing the scalp and just nourishing the hair. So this is another favorite ingredient of mine. And then next we are using coconut milk. So you want the full fat coconut milk um, because it's got the lauric acid, which is the fatty acids found in the fats, um, which can help to strengthen the hair cuticle from inside out. It also prevents protein loss and therefore can help to strengthen the hair and it improves hair growth, slows down um, hair loss and it's also got vitamins which will help to promote growth and soothe the scalp and uh, especially when you've got a dry itchy scalp. And then last but not least, we're going to add some glycerin, which is a humectant. So that will help to keep the moisture in our hair and keep our hair moisturized for longer. Now I'm going to show you how to make it and it's quite straightforward as long as you follow my instructions. So first we add the oatmeal, two tablespoons of oatmeal, two tablespoons of fenugreek powder or seeds if that's what you're using and I'm just putting them straight into the jug in which I'll be blending and then I pour one cup of freshly boiled water. So it needs to be boiled water or boiling water um, so that the oats can cook um, and this will also speed up the absorption of the water by the fenugreek and that will help to create the mucilage which I was talking about earlier and that was what's going to give us a slip. So once you've mixed everything, stirred, um, cover with plastic or aluminium foil or even just a plastic bag if you don't have the cling film and then um, what this is going to do is basically trap the heat and the steam inside of the jug and that will help to cook the oats because you want the oats to be cooked so that they produce that beautiful gel and then you leave it for a few hours or even overnight so i left mine for um until the next day basically overnight and as you can see that the fenugreek has doubled in size and the oats and the fenugreek have absorbed most of the water and now we are going to add the rest of the ingredients So before I do that, I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like. So as you can see, you can see that mucilage is formed and that's going to give us the beautiful slip um, when we've made our mask. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients and we're going to start by adding the coconut milk. So shake it well to make sure that it's um, properly mixed because sometimes you find that the water settles and the um, cream will be either the bottom or the top, um, depending on which way you open it. So shake it well to make sure that those are mixed um, and then stir it again because sometimes you find little lumps inside of it once you've opened it. So I'm just making sure that it's mixed properly because you want you know, the nice creamy coconut milk um, and not just either more water or more cream. Mm -hmm. 
and then uh, we're just adding a quarter of the can which is about 100 ml of coconut milk so we're just going to stir that well um, because the oats and the fenugreek have settled at the bottom and we just want to mix it otherwise it doesn't blend really well in the jug and now finally we're going to add two tablespoons of glycerin before we blend everything really well with our blender so i'll be using a handheld blender but if you want one of those you just pour into a, a blending cup you know whichever way works for you it'll still work so um, i'm just going to blend this and i blended mine for about two minutes so it just depends on how powerful your blender is you want it to blend it really well so you'll notice that it was quite watery to begin with but as you start to blend it it'll thicken up and that's because you're now breaking up the cooked oats and the fenugreek and it is now thickening um, the mask. Fenugreek is used widely as a thickener in shampoos and, and you know, things like that. So you will notice that it does thicken up. Okay, so we're nearly there. I just wanted to show you just how much it had thickened up um, from being, you know, that watery, loose texture. So it's a beautiful consistency now and I, it's time to strain it. So you want to use something that's going to catch all the fine bits because there'll be quite a lot of fiber in there from the oats. So I just use the end of a pair of ties. You can use a wig cap or even a cheesecloth, um, whichever way you know you want to strain that works for you. And then uh, I'm just going to strain it as I'll show you in the video. So I'm just going to show you the fiber I was talking about. You really don't want this stuff stuck in your hair, so please strain your mask. Okay, so here we are. This is our beautiful, gorgeous mask. It is ready to use. And as you can see, it's really nice and thick, and it's also really nice and smooth with absolutely no bits. It's also got a really nice slip. As you can see, it's so slippery. Um, and that new silage there is going to give us a beautiful slip when we're applying it to a mask. It's going to make our hair easy to detangle. So you can use this mask in two ways. You can use it as a pre-poo, so just like any other pre-poo. Um, so you would wet your hair first and then apply the mask. And I would recommend you do this if... Um, you know your hair doesn't have a lot of product but if your hair has a lot of product on it you know if you use a lot of oils and butters or gels or whatever then the best thing to do would be to uh, shampoo your hair so if you're using it as a pre-poo just wet your hair with some warm water and then apply the mask and then once you've applied it all over your hair you will then um, cover your hair with a plastic shower cap or plastic bag for 45 to 60 minutes and then um, 
shampoo afterwards if you're going to use it as a pre-poo i recommend you use a mild shampoo because otherwise you just strip the benefits of this beautiful mask so here i'm just demonstrating what it would look like if you're using it as a pre-poo as you can see the slip is phenomenal you know my hands are just gliding through my hair um basically almost immediately so this would make detangling really really easy and also you can see that you know my little coils were defined beautifully defined i mean this stuff is amazing the second option is to use it as a post shampoo hair mask or deep conditioning hair mask and um, once you've applied it the process is really the same so first of all you'd shampoo your hair rinse out the shampoo and then apply the mask and if you use a lot of product a lot of oils and butters then i recommend you use this mask after shampooing your hair so shampoo your hair and rinse it and as i'm showing you this clip you then apply the mask and just look at how easily it is to apply this mask and that's because it's got lots of slip in it and that um you know, gloopy gel you get with the oats is just amazing so my you know my fingers were basically just gliding through my hair because of the slip it was so easy to detangle and um you know that's why i absolutely love this mask so don't forget your ends always apply your ends you know those are the ends which are the oldest parts of your hair so we need to give them some tlc and um now what I'll do, I'll leave you to watch the rest of this clip and then I'll explain how I used this mask myself. So I decided to use mine as a pre-shampoo because I do use butters and oils as you will know if you follow my channel. So I applied the mask and um, honestly it felt amazing even as you're applying it immediately you feel the difference in your hair that your hair feels smooth it feels slippery and it's, it's so easy to detangle even with your fingers but as i'll show you in a little um, while if you wanted to use a comb or even a detangling brush it'll be so easy to do because of that beautiful amazing slip look at how my fingers are gliding through my hair absolutely amazing and you can also see that how well defined my cords were and um, again that's because of the fenugreek and oats in combination the coconut milk um, also helps with conditioning the hair which is why i really really love this mask so i'm just going to apply it throughout my hair and then i'll come back once i've done that so enjoy the music and just watch me give my hair some love
So I finished applying the mask, making sure that I had attended to my edges and also the partings, which, you know, we can miss out. And then I covered my hair with a plastic bag. I actually left mine in for an hour and I actually used the benefit of indirect heat through my steamer, my electric steamer. And um, after an hour, this is what my hair looked like. These are the, the results. So already I could feel that my hair was so, so soft. It was buttery soft. It was just incredibly soft. And you know, I've got low porosity hair and for me to get this level of softness is just incredible. Obviously using indirect heat helps, which is why you should cover with a plastic rather than just apply it and leave it as, like that. So my hands were just gliding through. Um, absolutely amazing. As you know, I use this as a pre-poo. So it's not that I had done a lot of detangling as such, um, because I wouldn't never detangle my hair when it's in its dry state, um, or even when it's just damp. But anyway, uh, look at how the comb is just gliding through. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, this is a winner and it is a keeper. So if you try this, I do believe you're going to absolutely love it. So I rinsed it out with some um, lukewarm water and look at that, look at how soft my hair is. It feels so amazing. So yeah, I love this. So I just used a mild shampoo afterwards and then conditioned and moisturized as usual. So that's what I would recommend you do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Um, thank you so much if you've already subscribed to my channel. If you've not yet subscribed, then please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And um, please leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to try this. If you do try it, come back and let me know how you get on and if you've used any of my other masks let me know which one is your favorite so again thank you so much i will see you in my next video until then take care my lovelies bye for now